Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in Osaka County. As a university degreed journalist and trained reporter in a lot of aspects of business reporting and marketing reporting and obviously educational reporting and documenting, I can tell you that when I worked in manufacturing pre this and sort of right out of college to start and launch my career, that there is something called quality systems management. And quality systems management means that we will research and we will review every employee of our company to make sure they're not ruining our relationships with our vendors or with our customers. And we do this very carefully because we do not need other employees impeding our rights to find the liars, the cheats, and the ruiners of our lines. We also do this to care for our employees because an employee that's willing to do something to get himself harmed in order for him to get workers comp or the things that these little shits who are just out of high school and stupid about life would do, they would regret because a stamping machine could cut their whole fucking arm off when they made a, a purpose, on purpose mistake. It's usually why we had women in charge of those groups because they could sniff out and ferret out the ones that didn't belong in their department. Now, in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about people's gifts. And a human being's gifts are their talents, their skill sets, and the things they've learned to do over the course of time to compete in a tough economy. When I talk about these things, I'm talking about the realities of life. That the realities of life say, do not impede someone's right to life. Do not lie to yourself about who you're supposed to be with, play with, and stay with. And do not lie to yourself about your ability to ruin someone's right to heritage and inheritance because you want more and you think you deserve more when you don't really know the relationship between that child and his father who produced it. Your lie is thinking that you didn't receive as much as him. And I doubt that's true. My guess is you held help in college. My guess is you had help every time your child had a birthday. My guess is you had help for paying for meals and celebrations that were put on by my father or someone like that in your family. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And there are children of families that are so jealous of other siblings that they never stop. They're squawking. It's sort of like that image in the Lord of the Rings film where you had that Slytherin house-like guy totally using his spell-winding ways to mimic, mimic and puppet a major king. And it took a wizard of God's house. And I can't remember whether he was uh, Gandalf the Grey or Gandalf the White at that time. To literally knock him out and change the Lord back to who he's supposed to be. Because what you saw in that movie, which is what people learn, is that that man, that Lord, that king, couldn't even recognize his own son. Didn't even acknowledge his own daughter. And yet they were fighting every day for their kingdom to be safe from the evilness of the world.